Hello, everyone. I'm Tiana Simons reporting for Kiss First, and today I am speaking with Madison Sky Validum. Madison is a rising star who you'll recognize from the Ivy and B movie franchise, and she is now set to light up this holiday season with lead roles in not just one, but two enchanting Christmas films, such as Netflix's Best Christmas Ever and Disney Plus's Dashing Through the Snow. Welcome, Madison. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm doing great. Super excited to speak with you about your Christmas films. I got to watch them in one day and I absolutely <laughs> loved your roles in them. Thank you. Of course. So like I said, I love both of these films and both of them are heartwarming Christmas tales. Um, Dashing Through the Snow specifically focuses on capturing the magic of the Christmas season. What makes the season so magical and worth celebrating for you? What makes this Christmas season more magical is obviously being able to celebrate two movies that have come out back to back. I mean, mm -hmm. I've never had any Christmas to celebrate two movies. So I think it's so magical that I get to watch all my magical movies and it's so amazing to see them and, you know, to celebrate this Christmas season with my family. Yeah, definitely. Like, definitely <laughs> kudos to you for having two movies. And I'm sure, like, how does it feel, especially knowing that uh, Dashing Through the Snow and Best Christmas Ever were both released on two different platforms and within 24 hours of each other? It feels amazing, actually. Like, I love both movies, like, really much. And I'm just so glad to have them out. And it feels so amazing because all my friends and family, they always watch movies. And to be able to hear all the happiness, like, between every watching movies, it's amazing to see. Yeah, I'm sure. Like when I looked at the dates and I was like, November 16th, November 17th, I'm like, you are truly doing it, especially you being 10. Like, I know I got started with journalism at a young age. But I'm like, just seeing you doing it, like, that's absolutely amazing, especially two movies in one year. Like, that's rare for even the big movie stars. So I love that for you. Thank you. Of course. Uh, so going back to like dashing through the snow, one thing that we learned from dashing through the snow is that sometimes people forget about the magic of Christmas. So from the eyes of your character, Charlotte, what would she tell people who um, are like her dad and had a bad experience with Christmas and don't believe in the holiday magic? I would tell people that if you have a bad past on Christmas or anything in general, you should definitely leave that behind you because you have to focus on what's in front of you and what's not behind you because you cannot lose the magic of Christmas. There's so much magic within Christmas. You definitely do not want to miss it. So whatever's behind you, just leave that in the past and focus on what's in front of you. Yeah, I agree. And even if it's hard, I feel like everyone can find something to get excited about, whether it's gifts, family. Yeah. Like Christmas isn't just about, you know, Santa and all that. There's many other aspects to love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And so you got to work with some amazing people with these films, such as Ludacris, um, with Dashing Through the Snow, and the incredible Brandy with Best Christmas Ever. So what was it like working with such incredible talents, especially as their daughter? really amazing all of them are so kind they're so humble they're obviously so much fun to work with they're funny and I really enjoy working with them Brandy actually gave me a piece of advice and she said Madison the only thing you need to do in this career is stay humble and always listen to your mom because she has your best interest so I've got many great advice from them and yeah they're super amazing to work with yeah that's great I'm sure like I've seen work and they're both in the music industry so I know them more from that but seeing um some of their acting work definitely seem like amazing people like you're yeah. definitely lucky that you got to work with them especially <laughs> as their daughter like I know that was incredible yes yeah <laughs> so in this Christmas ever your character Beatrix is seen as the Harvard girl who is very smart and is even wanting to try to prove that Santa Claus isn't real so what was it like for you playing Beatrix and having a character who's a shift from your typical adventurous roles who believe in the magic of everything? Playing Beatrix was quite different from playing Charlotte. You know, she's a 10-year-old Harvard student and Charlotte, she's just, you know, just chilling around. She's just doing all her school. But Beatrix, she was more, she did not really believe in Santa Claus at first, but Charlotte always believed in Santa Claus. 
So it was two different roles to play because Beatrix, she was like, Santa Claus isn't real. She went on this whole mission to figure out if he's real. But Charlotte, she tried to prove to other people that Santa Claus was real. So I feel like Beatrix tried to prove that Santa wasn't real, but Charlotte tried to prove that Santa was real. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like those are two totally different roles. And I love that you were able to play them. Like, do you feel like it was really easy for you to, in a sense, get into the different mindsets? Um, or was it more about relatability or was it just a breeze? It was just a breeze. Every time I act, I just, you know, close my eyes, picture how the character would act itself. And that starts with the lines, like looking at the lines, seeing all the actions, how I think they would act. So it's pretty much of a breeze for me because I look at the character and I like figure out, I analyze the differences between them. So yeah, I really enjoy like getting into different characters. That's really fun for me. And that's the amazing part of acting. Yeah, I have to agree. That's definitely one of the perks of acting that you get to try different things out. Yeah. Um, and especially that is definitely something that will help you on the future, being able to play two totally different roles, even in the same category. Like there are a lot of great actors who can do that. Mm hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I know that you hope to have an animal uh, animal rescue one day, which I think is pretty cool, and you would be amazing at. I mean, in dashing through the snow, the reindeer's jobs. One of them is to protect Saint Nick. So if you had to rescue Santa's reindeer, how would you do it? If I had to rescue Santa's reindeer. I would definitely start with some treats. You know, I would definitely get them treats. I would pet them. I absolutely love animals so much. I have a cat of my own. Her name is Sasha. And I really want to open a vet one day because I see all these videos of animals getting stuck into places. So to help them, give them a bath, give them food, it would really make me really happy. So I really, I think that's how I would help the reindeers. You know, if they were in a bad situation, I would rescue them, give them treats, give them food, give them a bath and make them have some rest. <laughs> Yeah, I think you would be amazing. Like, you definitely have the per uh, the personality. You definitely seem, like, very caring. Like, I can just tell from your whole aura that you would definitely be amazing having an animal <laughs> rescue. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Definitely hope you reach that goal. Um, And just for one last question, what are you hoping that audiences will take away from uh, Best Christmas Ever and Dashing Through the Snow? I hope that audience, sort of like dashing through the snow, I hope that audience take away that, like, again, never, like, hold any grudges from back because you need to start fresh. Every day, like, I used to say this even when I was younger, I used to say a new day, a new me, or a new day, a new you. So I think for dashing through the snow, you shouldn't let things that happen in the past affect you in the future because it shouldn't affect you in the future. You know, every day you start something new. But from best right. Christmas ever, I want people to take away that trying to prove somebody's life isn't perfect won't make yours any more better. So I think that you should always just be kind to everyone. Yeah, I agree. And I love those messages. You make me want to go and watch the movies again. Like, <laughs> especially like setting up this interview like, I was literally skipping, like, where is Madison in this movie? I don't want to see anyone else. I just want to see the parts with Madison. You are amazing. I love your energy. I'm so glad that I got to speak with you. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for speaking with me. Of course. Yes, and definitely to everyone who is watching this, make sure to check out her in Best Christmas Ever, which is currently available on Netflix, and in Dashing Through the Snow, which is streaming exclusively on Disney+. Plus. So definitely go watch that. You will not regret watching either one. <laughs> yeah. That's all for this interview for Kids First. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another review or interview. Again, I'm Tiana Sermons. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye.